Hi everybody, this presentation is designed to help you with your revision for your external exams at the end of this year. This presentation will be helpful for pupils in year 11, year 12, year 13. It will be helpful for parents in supporting pupils with their external examinations and it will also be helpful for mentors who are helping pupils to get the best exam results possible. So year 11, you received at the beginning of the year a year ahead booklet that had lots of information in there. This will be sent out to year 11 pupils um, over the next few days, just to remind you of all the techniques that are in that booklet. But what do we need to do? Well, first of all, you will have your exam timetable um, and you need to familiarise yourself with that so that you know how spaced out your exams are and you know how to prepare properly for all of the examinations that you will be sitting. What we need you to do is start early. The earlier, the better. It really should start from day one in September. You should be going home and you should be reviewing everything that you've learned in school. And that is our homework policy at Bishop Gore, our independent revision policy. That when you've had your five lessons or, or less in a day, you go home and you revise everything that you've learned in those lessons. And you do that through mind mapping, making flashcards, making knowledge organisers and self-quizzing at the end. So just to give you a quick uh, recap, if I've had uh, a lesson today and that has been on solving simultaneous equations, I will go home. I will read through my notes on the solving simultaneous equations and I will summarise my notes on that. I will put uh, examples, different types of examples that I've had in the lesson and I will have my thorough knowledge organiser in the back of my book. I will then go on to something like BBC Bite Size or on to uh, Quizlet and I will look for a quiz on uh, simultaneous equations and I will test my understanding of it and that should take me uh, about 20 to 30 minutes for each lesson. I should also be using key dates, so making sure that all my NEAs are done, any uh, coursework is up to date, any external uh, part, pieces of information that I need, such as practical examinations, all of those are uh, adhered to as per the timetable. People should also be using the subject information in this booklet. So if you are year 11 and you've had one of these booklets, you should be using the key information in that to help you to prepare. So what revision techniques should we be using at Bishop Gore and throughout our career as we go to university? Well, avoid ineffective techniques such as highlighting. Highlighting is one of the most ineffective revision techniques. Basically, all you're doing, as this picture shows, is painting your book. Avoid just rereading. Rereading will not help that work to get into your long-term memory. Your aim is to try and get the work from your short-term memory into your long-term memory and for you to be able to retrieve that really well. Okay, so we've got a little guide here to help you um, to prepare for your exams in a really efficient way. And I've got this guide from the TES website. So it says, start planning early for exams. Set aside a little bit of time every day. Five hours spread out over two weeks at this point is better than five hours all at once. And this is called space practice and it is regarded as one of the most effective revision strategies. So divide up your revision into short manageable chunks of time. When revising, aim for 20 to 30 minutes per session. Mass practice or practicing or cramming is not effective and it can be stressful. So that's when you study for a very intense period of, of time just before the exam. You need to plan your time carefully to ensure all subjects and topics are covered in shorter chunks over a longer period of time. So really, we should be thinking about starting our revision now, doing bits regularly, small chunks regularly, to make sure that we're remembering things. Divide up your revision into smaller, manageable sections that will benefit you in the long term. The revision that you do for mocks will stick for the final exam. So make sure that you're coming back to uh, work again and again and again. And that's the way that you will remember it, not just looking at it once. Interleaving is a process where students mix and combine multiple subjects and topics while they study in order to improve their learning. I made this mistake when I was revising for my examinations, especially at university. I would revise a whole subject area 
on one night and then go to the next subject the next night and then if Monday was a certain topic it would be a week before I'd come back to it and I'd have forgotten everything I'd revised and that would be quite stressful that was because I was chunking my revision and that does not stick in your long-term memory interleaving is much more efficient so it what I was talking about a second ago was called block practice interleaving is the process where I look at lots of different topics for shorter amounts of time over the period so on a Monday I could revise biology English French and maths doing 30 minutes of each rather than doing two hours solely of science Tuesday four topics again it is better to revise 30 minutes of different subject areas rather than four, two to four hours of the same subject coming back to it regularly is really important so if I've revised maths on a Monday it's important that I come back to it on a Wednesday and a Friday it is better to do 20 minutes on a Monday 20 minutes on a Wednesday 20 minutes on a Friday of maths rather than doing um, a whole hour of maths on a Monday and not returning to it to the next Monday dual coding that's the process of combining verbal materials with visual materials there are many ways to visually represent materials such as infographics timelines cartoon or comic strips diagrams and graphic organizers dual coding involves you the learner drawing images graphs diagrams or timelines to support your revision notes when you are revising use your class materials find or create visuals that link with that information and compare and combine the visuals with the words so making your mind map, put pictures on there. Making your knowledge organizer, put uh, pictures on there. Making your uh, cue cards, put pictures on there. Don't worry if you don't consider yourself an artist. It's, about the, it's not about the quality of your illustrations, but about the focus. And make sure your uh, uh, images and diagrams are relevant. Too many photos with too many backgrounds will detract from the main points. So what else should you do? So effective techniques are creating flashcards with questions on one side and answers on the other and keep testing yourself. Work through past paper questions. Simply quiz each other, get yourself a friend and quiz each other on key bits of information. Create fill the gap exercises for you and a friend to complete or create multiple choice quizzes for friends to complete too. Test yourself and each other on what you've learned. This technique has been shown to be the most high impact in terms of supporting student learning. So. At the end of the day we are now in January At the end of the day I go home and I'm going to do 20 minutes on each of my topics that I've had today so 20 minutes on English literature 20 minutes on math 20 minutes on French 20 minutes on biology when I do that 20 minutes I'm going to make mind maps with pictures to help me to revise what I've looked at at the end of that I will test myself using BBC bite size or Quizlet or any other uh, website or uh, any area resource that has quizzes for me so this is part of where we get our homework policy from at Bishop Gore when we've uh, had a day of learning at Bishop Gore a pupil is meant to go home and revise what they've learned and then when they come back the next lesson the teacher should give them a give them a low stakes quiz so why do we do that well testing identifies gaps in knowledge it helps people to prepare for the next lesson it helps people to organize themselves it improves the transfer of knowledge to other subjects it improves your brain power it improves feedback to teachers it helps you retain your knowledge it helps people access new material and it helps people to get into a routine of revising regularly so that it's not a shock when you come to GCSE or a level and how do we prepare for these low stakes quizzes or tests we do mind maps flashcards knowledge organizers and self quizzing we should also be looking at subject specific key terms for a subject so below we've got a range of command words that could be used in your exam so make sure that you understand what all of these are so we've got here analyze annotate assess calculate compare define describe discuss evaluate examine explain identify illustrate label and justify make sure that you are familiar with all of these words and then the internet can be a great source of revision support so here we've got some websites that will help you as a tutor uh, helps to look at you and helps you with your and guides you with your revision 
So we've got here learning scientists, retrieve learn and tutor to, to unit.net. But also we've got get revising. That's a really helpful um, site that helps you to put together your revision timetable. We've also got Quizlet. That helps you to get the higher marks. There are revision cards on there and tests to help you. My Maths, we use that regularly, so get on there. And then BBC Bytes is a brilliant resource with lots of different tests on there for you to test yourself. So in the exam season, make sure you know your exam number and your, uh, your candidate and centre number. This is 68855 for the centre and your candidate number will be on your exam um, timetable. You need a clear pencil case with equipment. You need to bring water to the exam with a label removed. Mobile phones or any digital devices not permitted in the exam hall. And watches have to be laid flat on the desk. So here are some final tips. And this, this final tip sheet is just an experience from a pupil who outperformed all of our expectations at Bishop Law a few years ago. So I'm going to call this pupil Pupil X. Pupil X was predicted to get B, G, B grades at GCC. This pupil was determined to achieve better grades. Pupil X actually achieved 10 A star grades and 2 A grades. How did Pupil X do it? Pupil X stated that the achievements were due to hard work and not just talent. And this is the plan that Pupil X followed. Pupil X wrote a revision schedule and began revising in February half term. She asked every teacher for a revision list. She started studying the two to three hours every weeknight, interleaving all of her revision and six hours on the weekend, increasing as the exams drew closer. This pupil did not spend the same amount on each subject, but spent more time on her weaker subjects. She became flexible with her revision schedule. She used Quizlet to make online revision flashcards. She self-quizzed at the end of every revision session using Quizlet, BBC Bytes and Corbett Maths. She asked her parents to help her to quiz her on her revised topics. And then towards the end, she moved on to past paper questions to self-quiz. We want you at Bishop Gore to do the very best in your exams, whether you be year 10, year 11, year 12 or year 13. Please take seriously this revision guide. It will help you no end. Please think about starting to get your revision timetable in place now. Now is the best time. Start using the homework policy of going home and going back through your notes every night. It will be the best strategy in getting you ready so that you don't have to panic revise over the Easter holidays, but you will slowly and steadily be revising every day and storing all of that information in your long term memory. I wish you all the very best. At Bishop Gore, we want you to do your best and we want to support you in any way we can, whether you be a pupil or parent. We want the very best for every child at Bishop Gore. We want every child to have the best opportunities to get the best examination results in August. All the very best. Thank you very much. This is Dr. Williams wishing you all the very best for the future.